youth turn their passion for Lego blocks into a passion for helping others. Melissa and Christopher Chopkin were joined by Dr. Patel from London's Sea Star facility to present award-winning National Science Fair projects that could help heart patient care. Today I'm pleased to welcome two young people who truly espouse the spirit of innovation. It's a, an absolute pleasure for us to witness the implementation of their ideas and to support their research. Christopher developed a pump to help a damaged heart push blood through the system. It could also be used to help patients with circulation problems. The title of my project was Computer Controlled Heart Assist Pump. The purpose of my project was to be able to improve the quality of life for people who were waiting for a heart transplant. The hypothesis was that a heart assist pump could be made small enough to allow it to be installed in the left ventricle of the patient's heart using a minimally invasive surgical technique called cardiocatheterization. So basically what my, uh, my project is, is a remotely mounted drive system and a axial flow pump at the end of it. So as you can see here, the impeller is uh, attached to this uh, guitar string, and the end cap right here is attached to this catheter tube. So when I supply power to the impeller, it'll be able to spin and turn off. So blood will be able to enter into the axial flow pump. The flow pump will then uh, push the blood out the other side uh, with, a considerable, with a considerable amount of force. Melissa found a way to turn movement into electrical energy. This could reduce the size of pacemakers. So this was one of the two types of energy harvesting that I found. And these devices, they're called piezoelectric transducers. And basically, as there's deflection on these transducers, um, a voltage can be generated. Basically, as the piezoelectric transducers were deflected, it would travel along these wires to this evaluation board, where the chip would rectify the voltage produced by the piezoelectric transducers and then store it in these capacitors. Christopher and Melissa are looking at getting patents for their projects.